Hello, and welcome to chess. We are going to play a game of chess. My goal is to win this game of chess. Uh, and if I do so, I will celebrate. If I don't win, I'll also celebrate just less intensely. All right, here we go. I have news. I built a keyboard. That's all I'll say about that. All right, 1968 rated. I believe I hit 1980 recently. Um, and I saw there's aim chess is like one of the sub features. Like if you go to more, let's see if it shows up. Uh, oh, I can't see it now. But before there was a section in here somewhere, I think, or but it was like, uh, how good are you at chess, basically? Where was it? Aim, aim chess training. There it is. I think it's like a third-party thing. Basically, it looks over some of your last games, and it evaluates when do you lose. Like, do you lose in the opening, in the middle game, end game? What openings are you good at? What openings are you not good at? It's a pretty nice product. Um, I haven't paid for it. I just used it. And I've never seen this before. All right, we have E4 on the board. Anyway, uh, I thought it was interesting. I haven't paid for it, but it seemed really useful. And so I have a tab open with the aim chess on it. And it said that it thinks that I'm underrated, which is pretty good. I like when it says that. All right, we're playing the open Sicilian. I guess it can still transpose back. No, we're good. And knight f6. Sorry if the game looks pretty laggy. My computer's had a pretty hard time today. I have been in and out of Zoom calls, um, coding, and also etc. All right. As you can see, this is the English attack. This is something that I've played several times. Uh, I think normally the knight goes back to b3 for the English attack, just because they want to play g4 and f3. So this to me doesn't strike me as particularly good. I think I can go bishop e6 here. Um, just trying to get the maximum that I can out of this, stopping bishop c4. I think also I can just go bishop e7. The problem I'm foreseeing with bishop to e6 is that the knight can come to g5 and take it, taking back, which normally is great. Like, what's the problem with that? I'm defending d5 like a trillion times, and basically I'm guaranteed to push it. The problem is, after bishop e6, knight g5, um, takes, takes, bishop c4 attacks the pawn. So I think in this line it has to go bishop e6, if knight g5, I then have to play queen c7 to stop, uh, stop the shenanigans. And then he can go to the middle with the knight, um, which I can then take with the knight. He takes with the bishop. I take with the bishop. He takes with the queen. Uh, and there's kind of a queen in my face with the knight here, this here. There's cross defense, but now my bishop can't defend, can't develop to e7. I'm just going to skip all that and just play bishop e7, just delaying this by one move. I do honestly believe that queen c7 is a move there. Okay. And he didn't take the chance to go here, so I'm definitely going to take this now. Um, because he'll just be a tempo down now if he plays bishop c4. I hope that makes sense. That now I can play it pretty easily because in all variations, he's one move shorter than he would have been before. All right, he castled kingside. I'm just going to castle kingside too. I'm not going to think about it too much. Um, I definitely can push now. Notice he only has two defenders and the hidden queen, but I have three defense. So even on takes, I'm fine. Also, d5 now is like a serious threat um, because I'm threatening to play d4. A lot of people miss that. Um, yeah, so d5, uh, pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, and there's no bishop here uh, to threaten at the end. I do lose the e5 pawn, though. He's looking at that. That's one merit of knight f3. Okay, he's going this way. Um, I'm guessing it's a reroute plan. This bishop can't go anywhere. And now knight g5, I think, is not, is not so well informed. So I'm debating between knight c6 and knight d7. Uh, sorry, knight, knight bd7 or knight c6. And I'm not sure which one I, I think I like more. I know that this is a half-open file for me, and so I'd rather not block it. So I think queen c7, rook a c8 is in my future, and that plane is hindered a little bit by the knight on c6. So I think I'll have to tuck back this way. I can now definitely play d5 with absolute immunity. Queen c7 on the horizon, and now he chooses to go for this. Uh, this is permissible. I actually would like it if he took. And like I said before, I now have to play queen c7, because after captures, captures, 
he doesn't have queen c4. Um, that's an important that's an important point. A uh, bishop c4, not queen c4. Okay, I think the center is just mine now. Um, push takes, bishop takes. Uh, okay, let's let's say let's let's do a quick calculation. If I push, taking with the knight now it doesn't do anything, so I can just push. I think in the middle. If I push in the center, I think I'm just a happy person. So we're gonna push in the center. We did it. We got rid of our weakness in the Sicilian. I had a backwards pawn there the whole time, and now it's gone, Zo. Uh, the question is, do I want to take with the bishop or do I want to take with the knight? Um. I like taking with the bishop to maintain the two bishops. I like the pressure on the king. I kind of think taking with the knight is a nice move for multiple reasons. Uh, one reason being, I'm taking, I'm attacking this, I'm attacking this, um, but also my knight can swing in. So I do sort of feel like the knight going forward is probably the better choice of the two. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. Preserve the bishop pair. Because takes, he takes my bishop, I take back with the pawn. And I'll have doubled pawns there, you know? Like, now that this trade happens, I'll just be left with doubled pawns and nothing else to show for it. So I think the plan is bishop backwards like this, and then the knight comes to knight comes to d5 after that. I just didn't like having two center pawns here for no reason, with, like, no compensation. To, like, nothing... There's no, there's no positive side, it's all downside. Probably he could try to rush c4. I can't take it anyway. Um... Yeah, I guess I can take this. Um, all right, he's up a pawn. Here, he takes, I take. Oh, I lose at the end. Okay, I guess it's a pawn. I guess it's a pawn. Not too worried about it. The knight goes this way. Knight goes this way to get Temple and the Queen. I have space here. <coughs> uh, this isn't just a free pawn because this pawn hangs. But doesn't really. Doesn't really hang. Here's a check, I guess. Kinda. So, takes, takes takes it's a lot of captures we're just gonna go for it i don't think he's gonna checkmate me and yeah i just don't think he's gonna checkmate me also this is actually kind of threatening to win a piece uh i'm attacking the knight right now so i can move my bishop whenever wherever i want and just not let him take it That's definitely an improvement for me. I think there's not a not a way really around that. That's just better for me. Um, and then here's the question: If this is a valid move, I don't like that it puts my pawn on the open line, but I like that it gives my pieces access to his his stuff. We'll try to trade now. I'm defending the pawn, attacking this backwards. If takes, takes, I'm assuming bishop c5 to attack the rook and the pawn. He didn't go for that. I like the idea of attacking the queen. It gives my queen access this way. Um, I think that's positive. Just stopping the check on f5. For now, I'm stopping bishop c5. Uh, that attacks the queen, but there's problems where I lose the knight. So he's up a pawn. It's a bad pawn, which is good for me. My knight's not super happy, and my king's not super happy. So probably g6 is in order. 
king g7, and then my rook goes to h8. I just don't like the pins, and I just don't like how active his etc. is. Yeah, he has a check here. Let's go ahead and try to hide. He checks anyway. I jump to the corner. His queen comes in. So I think we have to dispense with that, and we have to just go here straight away. That way on check, we can actually hide. Feels strange, but it's the, it's the way we gotta go. Okay, he attacks the queen. Understandable. Let's try to trade queens if we can. That doesn't work, I don't think. Okay, this pawn's undefended. Ah. Here. If check, I run away. Um, that doesn't work, I don't think. Here, here. Wait, I don't think that works. Does it work? I'm not I'm not such a believer. Attacks him. The pin. The attack. And then takes, and I think I'm sad. So let's drop back. With the king, threatening this, queen takes, or bishop takes, oh, bishop takes is the threat, bishop takes is the threat, bishop takes, pawn takes, queen takes, pawn takes, rook takes, up. And I'm down another pawn. It's unfortunate. I could sack an exchange with rook h6. It just doesn't seem useful to sack the exchange, so I'm just going to improve my pieces. This pawn's free. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, I don't think that's right. But I gotta prove why it's not. I'm running out of time. Didn't notice that till just now. No more pin, so this is just fully defended. Uh, we take here first. Then here. Whoa. Okay, then here. This pawn's an issue, but that pawn's an issue. So probably he goes for the far pawn first. He can have it. Yeah, there's there's good and there's not good. I think he just pushes. That's defended, and he's gonna go like this. I don't think I can defend this.
No. That's a blunder. It's unfortunate. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, it's a GG. And checkmate. So here's my celebration. It's a small celebration because I did not play very well. Um, I'm going to do a game review. I think this is my first game of the day. It'll have, I think... I don't think I played the opening very terribly. Things went wrong after I took with the bishop. I didn't see that I was a pawn. That's a blunder. If not, it's a massive mistake. Yeah. 88% accuracy. I'm pretty sure that's the point at which it, uh... Yeah, so I'm pretty sure... This is all fine. It's just bishop takes pawn. That was not great. Yeah, everyone's happy. I'm pretty sure queen c7 is even good. Yeah. Pushing is good. Bishop... Okay, this is fine. This is fine. It says it's still okay. Wow. Taking? But then taking? And then I thought I can't take because he takes the piece. But it doesn't matter if he takes the piece. Because I can take his piece. Ugh. I saw this, and then I can't remember which piece I took with. I think it was this way. And I was like, well, he's taking my piece, so I lose. But then I can take his piece. Bishop captures e2. Yeah, and this is still balanced. Man, I saw that too. And I said, no, this is attacked twice. But this is undefended. Like, undefended. So I can just take the rook. And he can't take with the queen. Wait, why can't he take with the queen? Queen d7, queen d7, knight d7, bishop e2. And he's fine. Oh, knight e5, he gets a pawn. So he does an extra pawn in the end. And I'm still fine? Yeah, we gotta take that. Here? F6. Never play F6. Or Rook C8. Okay, game says it's equal. He has an extra pawn. Um, I have two bishops. That's the whole point. Is you played this entire game, and the only thing you really wanted was two bishops. That's how good two bishops are. Two bishops, and he's an extra pawn, and it's equal. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how well I'd be able to play this game. It's not like I can checkmate him, you know? Like, my rook's really far away. It's three versus two on this side. So they feel like, I can't, I can't checkmate him. He has an extra pawn. I feel like it's hope chess, like I'm trying to get something to happen, but the game's like, no, you're, you're great. All right, that was chess. I celebrated. I learned that bishop, uh, bishop captures wasn't bad. I just had to see this tactical that I, I dismissed a move too early. In this position, taking, uh, I take a pawn back. He took a pawn from me. I take a pawn from him. He takes a rook. I take a rook. He takes a knight. I take a knight. We're still balanced. And yes, he gets a pawn in the end, but I have to visualize that position and say, two bishops. Two bishops. That's all it is. That's going to be hard for me to learn. But okay. Yeah, and then I, I must have played real bad from here. Yeah, unnecessary. This is inaccuracy. It's supposed to, you're just supposed to take it. I thought this was better because it hurts his pieces more. Okay, offering pretty queens. Pushing is good. Oh, rook h8 was bad. That made it significantly worse, actually. <coughs> okay, so I'm not defending horribly. But, yeah, I'm still losing by three. Okay, and the game's over. GG, thank you so much for watching chess. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you checkmate your opponents and that you always stay Turkish.
Bye. Bye, Chess.